In the tangled web of human relationships, sometimes it's our four-legged friends that get caught in the crossfire. Welcome to a tale of two exes, four canines, and one neighborhood dispute that found its way into none other than Judge Judy's courtroom. Our story unfolds with a woman, let's call her Jane, and her ex-husband, whom we'll name John. Jane and John had once shared a life together, a life that included two beloved dogs of different breeds. But when their love story ended, a new saga began, one that would question the very boundaries of ownership, responsibility, and neighborhood harmony. Jane had kept the dogs, a sprightly golden retriever and a feisty French bulldog after the split. They were her constant companions, her source of comfort amidst the turbulence of divorce. But things took a turn for the worse when a new player entered the scene, the next door neighbor who we'll call Ned. Ned, too, was a dog owner, and his canine companions were not exactly the friendly type. One day, in an unfortunate turn of events, Jane's golden retriever and Ned's aggressive German shepherd got into a heated altercation. The encounter ended with the golden retriever severely injured, and Jane was left with a hefty vet bill. Jane believed that John, as the dog's original co-owner, should shoulder half of the vet bill. But John disagreed, arguing that since the dogs now lived with Jane, she alone should bear the financial responsibility. Meanwhile, Ned claimed no responsibility at all, stating that his German Shepherd was merely defending its territory. This complex dispute led all three parties to the one place where they hoped to find resolution, the courtroom of Judge Judy. As you can imagine, the case was far from straightforward. Judge Judy had to unravel a knot of questions. Who was the rightful owner of the dogs? Who should be held responsible for the unfortunate incident? And where did Ned's responsibility as a neighbor and fellow dog owner come into play? Judge Judy, in her signature no-nonsense style, got straight to the heart of the matter. She ruled that since Jane was the primary caretaker of the dogs post-divorce, she was legally their sole owner. As such, she was responsible for all costs related to their care, including the vet bill. But Judge Judy didn't stop there. She also took Ned to task for his negligence in controlling his aggressive dog. She reminded him that as a dog owner, he had a responsibility to ensure his pets didn't pose a threat to others. Whether or not his dog was defending its territory, it had caused harm, and Ned was held partially accountable for the incident. So, there you have it. A tangled tale of exes and canines, which demonstrates that in the eyes of the law, ownership isn't just about who bought the pet or who loved it first. It's about responsibility, care, and accountability. And as for our neighborhood dispute, let it be a reminder that our actions, and those of our furry friends, can have far-reaching consequences.